Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your Dow Jones day trade setup for today. So, uh, pretty much the same picture brewing here as what's on the S and P 500, and that is low, lower, low. Uh, look at the green bar. We had a nice big engulfing bar there. Pull back for the second leg, and now we have an inside bar. Uh, is this another area to load up on your long-term trades to the upside? Look at the diversion that's brewing as well. So, um, you've got to be cautious with this. Uh, it does it is looking really interesting to me uh, and also if we just pop back to the weekly you know this area is a massive area of support and um, it's been like that all of last year and all of this year so far as well it's going to take a, a mammoth task to break through this to the downside so um, lots of confusion as you can see by the tails the upside tails the downside so for me at the moment, yeah, this is potentially an area that we need to pay attention to. Um, and when I say that, don't expect it to just plummet through those levels without some major catalyst driving it down. So um, for me at the moment, it does look like a double bottom forming. We're way too far from the moving averages and the oscillators group the downside for me to even consider shorting. Um, shorting needs to be happening from here and that's sort of on a long-term view um, and you can see that was the level that was targeted yesterday uh, if we start getting down through the time frames um, you'll see we had this little consolidation here right at this level um, and we're looking at a range the range break the downside was a down to test the, the bottom of this uh, what I'm assuming is going to be the the range for the year and uh, that is pretty much what happened. We've got an inside bar. Got a little bit of gap here as well this morning. Uh, but we've got divergence here on the three hour as well that is brewing. So um, for me, you know, if you look at this on multiple uh, strategies, have a look at it on with a Bollinger Band, you'll see far outside Bollinger Band and probably closer inside the Bollinger Band. So that's a big Bollinger W forming. Um, you know, you, if you look at it on the Ichimoku, you'll probably find that... Uh, Keatinson and Tekinson are actually flatlining and far apart, which is uh, or even starting to curve, which was giving you a, a kind of a G-clamp type um, pattern, which will also indicate that you're coming to the end of the move. So um, lots of little, you know, if you look at lots of little strategies and uh, lots of indicators, you'll start seeing a pattern brewing. When that pattern is the same on all the, the indicators, all the indicators are all indicating that we are over oversold and or there is a reversal brewing you know you need to pay attention to your levels and start looking to see what's going on uh, with price now on the one hour so yesterday i said to you pay attention here and we did that on the 15 minutes so let's just get to the 15 minute uh, now we're looking at the the low of the day and we're looking at this level and you can see you know, nothing really brewed we drop below the 155 here that's why i say i always use the 155 as my trend line because we drop below it and then we came back and we just hovered and tried to test and tried to break so your entry was down here on a break of this consolidation to the downside with a stop to the upside or alternatively on the range break entry is in this area as you try to do the pullback you would have seen this chaos jumped in and that would have given you a 200 odd point stop loss for just targeting this zone here of 477 point so two to one trade basically and this is the area where price is now so you can see lots of structure here and you can see how we bounce around in that area as well so that was kind of um, the view now looking at today if we just get back to the hour uh, we do have something brewing we've got you know, we've got some structure brewing here no real diversions brewing on the hour, but I would expect probably another little push down into 33069, uh, possibly as far as 3300, being a nice round number, um, and then I'd expect some sort of some profit taking to happen from the shorts, and then we need to wait and see what's going to transpire from there. So in other words, from a 15 minutes perspective, look for the structure. Structure is right here. Let's put both levels in. And there is your, your zone. You can see there we tested it up there as well. So that's the area to be paying attention today. 
uh, break that to the upside I expect to move to the 155 trend is down we are below the one uh, the 155 EMA but break the structure we're looking for a move up to there uh, break it to the downside we're looking to come and close these gaps and there's uh, basically a gap here and then there's a gap further down so 33 to 200 and possibly 33 100 uh, and even as far as 3300 so that's kind of my narrator for today and look at the oscillators all grouped the upside so I do expect us to probably try and tag this area uh, to see what we'll see what we can do there um, if we do get above the structure and start holding be cautious I wouldn't be jumping in long up here I'd be waiting for confirmation so I'd want to see moving averages cross over I'd want to see oscillators drop to the downside so I'd want to see the move up and then I want to see the pullback uh, above the 155 and then the oscillators group to the downside and that would indicate a move to the upside and that's sort of uh, on the 15 minute narrative that's kind of what i said to you yesterday so if we got above this level and we held it then that's definitely an opportunity for longs and if we're dropping below it we need to start looking for short so same thing as today uh, just we don't have the moving average in play we've got a bit of a range forming at the top here okay anyway that's kind of my view to today and uh, you know it is a public holiday in south africa so may you very well um, spend an hour or two just playing the five minute chart if the market opens just to see what we can get uh, but if you look at the five minute chart you can see moving average crossover and now we're hovering above the 155 so um, again you know this level comes into play if we get above it and hold it um, and come back and test that environment that is definitely an opportunity for longs uh, more intraday longs not uh, long-term longs anyway Hope that helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.